I was just kind of walking down this nice neighborhood here in Dallas and check it out, man. I just happened to look up and spot this Mustang sitting up here half coming out and it looked familiar. You guys may remember this. Long time viewers of the channel know all about this car and followed the whole thing as it was being built. All you new guys, you may not even know anything about this, but this is how we got started on YouTube. Easter Sunday. So uh, Matt's been working on it and uh, he's got it running and while uh, while all the body work stuff's going on, see got the front sheet metal back on here that uh, was supplied to us from Shut Your Face Garage. So it's good to see that back on there. And we were just discussing a couple of uh, tweaks. I don't know if you guys remember this fender or not, but it's not lining up right here. Matt was trying to get this fit on and see uh, there's a little a little uh, stud right there that's supposed to locate in that hole and it's and it's like not fitting it's up too high and I did a lot of work to this fender with it off the car including a patch in this front section up here and if you notice that line right there is it's kind of straight you know and that's a square section right there and if you look on this side it actually tapers down pretty sharply there at the end so we're gonna have to cut uh, cut this back open here and lower that down and re-weld it. Matt's been working on the uh, turbo. This is a, what is this thing? GT 4202, I think. It's out of a Detroit diesel. Detroit diesel GT 4202. Uh, it's way oversized, uh, I think, for this. But hey, he got a good deal on it. And that's what he's going with. And so all the twin turbo stuff that was on this thing, big nasty mess of stuff over here is gone now um a few weeks ago we made this down pipe at the shop one weekend five inch down pipe and it uh next down to three down there um and uh let's see oh we we're just looking at this uh 32 psi duct tape right here now that's the gorilla tape so you know it'll it'll hold some boost but we're just checking it out from this angle here and this side of the car with the uh, cool paint job that we put on it and the wet sand and buff i mean it's pretty dang straight and uh some of you remember this quarter panel got put in here twice and there's quite a bit of bondo in here and it stayed in there even as hard as it was hit can see what uh, what it looks like there, but let's fire it up. Let's hear. Let's hear it. Now this old girl, she's a little grouchy nowadays. After, uh, but we'll do a little cold start on it. It's actually cold up here in Dallas today. It's Sunday. into that big monster. Some of you guys remember we did these tail lights, 64 Thunderbird, sequential tail lights. Guys don't remember we uh, 
spent several years and several videos making this thing and uh, about two and a half years ago or so Matt wrecked it and he got married got a job bought this house life kind of jumped up there and now he's kind of settled down back working on it now so it's still got the factory electronics he's gonna get a micro squirt and uh, get it set up on here so we can do some tuning on it and get things dialed in So I was, uh, you can go ahead and shut it off. So we were out here talking. I was kind of making fun of some of Matt's welds. And then he, he was quick to remind me about this nice little job I did here. This was one of the first things I did, uh, or we did when we were getting this thing, you know, trying to fit it in here. And it was make a flange for the uh, mass airflow sensor. And I was not confident that my weld was very good and it wasn't very good. So I siliconed all the way around that weld. Now that is 32 PSI silicone as well. So, you know, he had to go ahead and he had to go ahead and point that out. Don't hate. And uh, don't forget about the, the clampless boots. They're specially designed to hold 32 PSI without boots or clamps. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys, that's it. Just thought I'd give you, show you guys a little, little update here. Some of you remember the build. Some people still email me and ask me questions about it. And uh, I will also have a link here at the end to the wreck video in case anybody wanted to see the footage that we got of that. Happy Easter. See you guys.